Hi guys, I want to give you the update on the import situation for the Wasar, Arsenals and Zastavas. Uh, it took me a few days to collect all the info, uh, but I, I have the same message from the multiple sources. So basically this is how it's looking like. Uh, as you remember in January uh, when I was at the SHOT Show, I told you that uh, the Wasar 10 imports will be kind of hold up because of what's happening and uh, their obligations for the exports uh, for the contracts from Romania to the Middle East and we were hoping that the Wasar uh, imports will be back uh, to United States around the summer time frame so we are in the middle of the summer I did talk to a few people and this is what they told me. Uh, yes, the new uh, Wasser Stan uh, badge is coming to United States, uh, but uh, we're not going to see great uh, numbers. So they importing them, but not, uh, not you know, what the market demand is. So what is probably going to happen, and this is, uh, this is like a domino effect uh, because of uh, upcoming elections, uh, because of the import uh, you know drop down uh, what you're probably going to see is increase in the price uh, before end of this year on the wasser so my advice to you is if you are on the fence if you're thinking about uh, buying the uh, wasser uh, get them now you can still find them uh, across the internet get them now uh, and because they're not going to get cheaper I mean that's the bottom line uh, and uh, the good thing is that the, the, the rifles are coming to the country but uh, the bad thing is probably we're going to start seeing uh, you know the prices continue to climb uh, but uh, that's it about the Wassers uh, also about the Zastava so far I couldn't find anything about the OPAPs it looks like the OPAP is uh, basically a dead issue n pups however n pups will be coming and uh, there are new batches of the rifles coming so at least those uh, we should start uh, seeing you know the steady flow uh, from the stava of the n pups uh, i really don't want to speculate why the opups are not coming why only n pups are coming uh, that's something you know to talk about at different time but at least we know that the Zastavas, we should, uh, you know, keep seeing the Zastavas in, uh, across the online stores and uh, you shouldn't have a problem picking them, picking them up. Uh, so uh, that's another good news. Uh, I'm not sure about the pricing on the Zastava yet. Uh, I only heard uh, the feedback uh, for pricing uh, on the Wassers. So we'll see what's going to happen to, uh, to Zastava. Uh, as far as the Arsenal rifles, uh, SLR-107, to my best knowledge, is still not coming to United States at this point. Uh, there is a hope for the next year, but I do not have any reliable data to say it one way or another. So that's only for the SLR-107 in 7.62 by 39. All right, and I will leave it at this. Uh, everything else with, with Arsenal is kind of like rolling a dice. All right, uh, one more thing, guys. I wanna touch base. Uh, yesterday we have published the video about that radical firearms and the problem which we had with uh, the camping uh, broken. And some of you, uh, and I wanna reply to this, at, at, you know, at once, so we don't have to go back and forward. Some of you are saying, you know, oh, it's cool, you know, this is cheap part, just drop the replacement and continue to do the test. Uh, the idea of the 5,000 rounds test, guys, is uh, if I cannot fix the part with the duct tape, rock, or a 550 cord, uh, the test is basically over. And yes, I understand this is AR and you can easily and quickly drop in the replacement parts uh, but uh, you know when this is ends uh, when we're going to decide to stop uh, I can quickly change barrel gas block uh, or what the hell if the rifle is not uh, cycling why not to change the whole upper so uh, the rules are what the rules are uh, I cannot glue together with the crazy glue uh, camping it will not withstand uh, you know, so don't get upset guys. Uh, we do this to see what fails, what doesn't and uh, that camping snapped. Uh, you know, th there is nothing else to say about it. Uh, at this point, the test is over for the radical firearms uh, and uh, you can, you know, make the decision on your own. Uh, it was $649. Uh, it did well, I, I mean, across, across, you know, over 1,000, 4,000 rounds. 
So, uh, but the final effect is it did not complete the 5,000 rounds test. And that's the bottom line. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there.